Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I am back with some season three news and speculation piggybacking off of information brought to us by the lovely people over at wattseries.com. If you would like to read the full article, I will link it in the description below. I'll be going over what I think Perrin's plot will look like in season three, complete with episode breakdowns, possible character deaths, and more. This video will contain spoilers for book four, The Shadow Rising. First off, let's look at the information I'm basing the speculation on. The first thing that caught my eye is that Paul Maynard will play Jack Alcine, a Two Rivers farmer whose encounter with Perrin sets off a chain of events with Thomas Napier directing his scenes likely in episode three or four. Now, if we go by this information, we will most likely encounter Jack in a mid-season episode, which leaves two possibilities. Perrin arrives in the Two Rivers in one of those episodes, or we get an establishing introduction to the character before Perrin arrives. I believe the first option is most likely, so I'll speculate from there. If Perrin arrives at the Two Rivers by episode three or four, it means he probably sets off to go there in episode two. And this leaves a lot of time for him to hit his bigger book plot beats. So let's think about what the season will look like for him. Obviously, this is just for fun, but could be offset by new information. In other videos, I've expressed the idea that I think it would be great if the characters get a little bit of exposition time in episode one and spend some time together to show how friendships and romantic relationships have changed up past the battle at Falm. Perrin could leave with his party of Aiel and Loyal in episode two and meet Fayil. Episode three, he returns to the two rivers and meets with Bran and Marin Alvir, who tell him the news of what has happened since he's been gone. I think it's a big possibility that we don't see the death of his family in the show. Personally, I would leave it out, and here's why. In the books, it's an event that allows him to become closer to Fayil as she comforts him. And in our year of 2024, the trope of a woman fixing the man after emotional hardship, it's kind of tired. I'd love to see Perrin grow and overcome it himself. Another point is that Fahil is incredibly clever, intelligent, and a bit of a warrior in her own right. I'd love to see them brought closer due to a natural chemistry rather than trauma bonding. Lastly, Perrin has been grieving his dead wife for two seasons. Adding in the death of his family would set him back too far in terms of grief, and Perrin's growth needs a jumpstart, not a regression. Moving forward, episode three might end on something like Perrin searching out Tam and a possible Abel Cawthon. Episode four could be something like a planning stage where Perrin, Tam, and Abel gather resources and allies in an attempt to rescue whomever has been kidnapped by the White Cloaks. In the books, this is where Perrin meets at Jack Alcine's farm, and this is also where we could introduce Lord Luke. I think a very strong mid-season finale would be the rescue plot at the White Cloak camp, so I'll stick that in episode four as well. Episode 5 could be Perrin and the young men hunting Trollocs, which leads to his encounter with the Tinkers and the revelation that the Waygate is open, and Perrin sending Loyal and Gull to close it. Now with episode 6, this looks like a good spot for all the preparations of the impending Trolloc attack. They could show that a couple days have passed since Loyal left to close the Waygate and see all of the fortifications the villagers of the Two Rivers have made in an attempt to fight off the Trolloc Horde. This would be the calm before the storm episode. Just when we see everyone prepared and feeling somewhat ready, Loyal arrives a hero, he has carried Gaul most of the way back, they have succeeded, but they come with a cryptic message. 
thousands of Trollocs are coming their way. Now that we have reached this segment of the book plot, I'd like to bring Fayil back into the conversation. In the books, Perrin marries her before sending her away to Morgays to ask for reinforcements. In the television series, I think we will most likely not see the wedding. It feels much too soon, and I think it would be jarring and not very believable that Perrin manages to meet a woman, fall in love with her, then marry her, all in one season and all within a couple of episodes. I'll set her aside again and move forward to episode 7. Now, according to WattSeries.com, this episode will be titled Golden Eyes. As the title would suggest, this should be the episode where the Battle of the Two Rivers takes place, named after the chant the villagers shout giving recognition to Perrin Golden Eyes for his heroic effort in bringing the village together to defeat the Trollocs. The exciting thing is that Watt series also gives us the information that the episode is written by Dave Hill and directed by Kieran Donnelly. If you remember season one, Donnelly is responsible for one of the fan favorite scenes, which is the blood snow, featuring a pregnant T. Grain fighting back men while going into labor. It's really exciting news that he is back for more fight sequences. I am a big fan of the Netflix show Altered Carbon, and he's directed for that series as well. The man knows how to do a really adrenaline-filled fight choreography, and I cannot begin to say how excited I am to watch what he does when overseeing a massive battle without the restrictions of COVID like what happened in season one. This is very good news for everyone who likes battle sequences. Now getting back to the actual episode, I have to again bring up Fayil, because instead of fleeing for Camelin to bring back reinforcements, she actually rides to Devon Ride and brings a contingent of fighters who turn the tide of battle. It's actually incredibly fearless and a huge moment to show us who she is deep down and what she stands for. She's not a damsel in distress. She's courageous and loyal. So instead of a wedding, I think this could and should be the beginning for Perrin and Fayil's relationship, a moment where Perrin sees how fearless she is, so much so that he starts to see her as a romantic interest. That would actually give us a lot more time to show the relationship grow and allow us to actually spend time on it versus the antagonistic and possibly unhealthy way that it evolves in the books. So for me, a blossoming relationship here is a much more believable turn of events rather than a wedding. Moving forward to episode eight, and it could work as a segment to tie up all the loose ends with other characters and leave space for a big split finale showing Rand's big events in the Io Waste and the escape from the Panarch's palace. The last little bit of news that I'd like to cover is that actor Emmanuel Imani, who played Yvonne in the first two seasons, has moved to a new talent agency and credits himself with three seasons for The Wheel of Time, suggesting a possible return for season three, though confirmation is pending. So we need to talk a little bit about speculations for him, Ilana, and Maxim. One of the questions to think about for season three is if Varen, Ilana, and her warders will have mysteriously appeared in the two rivers before Perrin, or if they actually travel with him. Considering they aided Rand and Moraine against the Amarlin's wishes, I can't imagine they are on good terms with the White Tower so it's unlikely they would be in the two rivers under the guise of finding young channelers to bring back to Tarvalin. So it's possible Moraine sends them to escort Perrin's party back to Emmons Field. Secondly, due to other projects Imani is working on, it's likely that he won't return back to the Wheel of Time. With this in mind, this would make him a strong candidate for the warder who belongs to Alana that dies, not Maxim. 
I've been saying this since season one, but I think there would be a bigger gut punch for Alana if he's the one who doesn't survive because they were the initial couple and Maxim joined the relationship because he was in love with Yvonne. I think it could make Alana's later actions a bit more believable due to her absolute desperation. So, let me know what you think. Is there anything I missed? Do the episode breakdowns look accurate? How would you feel about changing the timeline of Perrin and Fahil's relationship? Do you think Varen and Alana will be in the Two Rivers ahead of Perrin or will they go with him? Why or why not? And if you like these videos, make sure you like this one, share it, and subscribe to the channel. I'll be back with more Wheel of Time news and speculation whenever it drops. Thank you for watching and I'll see you back next time.